thinking summer? Well, let's think lobster. We're at Morton's The Steakhouse where they do incredible lobsters and Don the GM is going to show us how we can make these at home, which to me is a little intimidating. Intimidating it is not. It might be intimidating, but actually it's very easy. Okay. Um, the first way I'm going to show you today is how we prepare it here at Morton's The Steakhouse. First, we take a whole main lobster live, split it down the center, and lay out the tails. We then take this hammer and hammer down the claws so as you can see it's cracked all the way through so it cooks a little evenly and it's easier okay. to remove the meat. And this is if you're doing the whole thing. This is doing the whole thing and we, we bake it and right before we put it in the oven we're going to take a little bit of heavy cream just down the sides of the tail and what then some melted drawn butter just over the tail meat. Now flavor? this does one or two things. The, it's going to let it flavor just a little bit. The butter is going to actually let it, the lobster tail brown just a bit. Okay. But the heavy cream, since you're baking it in the oven, not water, will actually keep the lobster moist. I did not know that. All right. So we just pop that in the oven. And you're going to go 500 degrees, mm -hmm. uh, about five minutes per pound. That was a three and a half pound, so we're okay. looking at about 17 to 18 minutes, and it's perfect and ready to okay. go. Okay. Good deal. The second way uh, that I'll show you here in a second, but we're going to do a lobster cocktail, which is a great appetizer, especially when it's hot outdoors, right. something nice and chilled. And that's very simple. The best one to use are these chick lobsters. They're about a pound and a quarter. Mm -hmm. You just get a bowling pot of water with a little bit of, with a couple bay leaves and a couple lemon slices. Drop it in there five minutes or when it floats to the top, it's ready to go. And then you immediately stick it in an ice bag. Okay. Okay. The third way to do and you can find these at a lot of your grocery stores nowadays, is the uh, lobster tail. And it's very simple. They come in your seafood market. A lot of times they're frozen, just thaw under running cold water. Right. And then the easiness of it, I'll take this out here. You just want to cut along the top of the tail. And then you just slightly pull apart. And then the meat, you pull all the way out, leaving it intact just at the bottom. Okay. Fold that over and close it again. Oh, wow. Over the tail, put the fan out. That's how you'll get it to look so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then before service, you take a little bit of paprika, or not before service, right before you put it in the oven, a little bit of paprika on top for color. And once again, just a little bit of drawn butter as well. And this goes in 500 degrees as well. Okay. Uh, this is about a seven to eight ounce tail. So that'll take about 12 to 14 minutes. Okay. Uh, I've seen them as large as 20 to 24 ounces, which take about 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, one thing you do want to do is make sure you cover it with some tin foil and put a little bit of water in the pan mm -hmm. so that it actually steams itself Keeps a bit. Keeps moist. Oh, yeah. So what size are the lobsters you can get here at Morton's? Uh, at Morton's, usually they're between three and five pounds. Mm -hmm. So we get them pretty good. Okay, now this is the finished uh, lobster cocktail that's still the that whole lobster. Boiled. Okay. It was boiled. We sit it in an ice bath immediately, so now the lobster meat is nice and chilled all the way through. And the best way to do to prepare this is just grab the tail at the back and pull, okay. and it'll come right off. Set that off to the side. And, and it's the tail meat that you're after. You're after the tail meat and the claw meat as and well. And the claws, okay. And sometimes you can just pinch the bottom of it and get the, all the meat out, but sometimes <laughs> they get a little Sometimes tricky. it goes everywhere. So we I just can't live without my kitchen take the kitchen scissors. shears come in handy. And just cut along the inside this time. Okay. Because it's easier to cut along that membrane. And then just kind of pull it right out. And that beautiful piece of lobster meat is and waiting. That's the lobster meat waiting for you right there with the tail. Okay. If you have anybody any aggression that you want to get out one day, <laughs> oh, yeah. that's a good time to do lobster cocktail because then you just take the claws. Can I do one? Oh yeah. <laughs> Not that I've had aggression make, to you today or anything. Not at sure all. Make sure you put it in between a towel. Okay. And so right there. All right. And then you just want to kind of pop it a few times. How you, hard? You just can't do it watch your fingers. Nothing's going anywhere. All right. But hit, you can't hit it too hard. That sounded good. Yeah, oh, you yeah. got it. <laughs> I smashed it. Is that you, all right? You pull the membrane just... out right there. I didn't destroy the meat, did I? No, no. Okay. And then you got the rest of the claw ah, meat coming right out there. And then you can kind of fiddle along the little membrane. Oh, yeah. Pull that meat out there. And then you can serve it with any kind of dishes that you like or sauces. We okay. typically serve it with a mustard mayonnaise sauce, which is mostly heavy mayonnaise, a little bit of Dijon mustard, mm. Worcestershire and horseradish. There's, of course, the old standby melted butter. Right. And then you've also got uh, cocktail sauce.